D tier. Yeah. Oh my god, I saw was D tier player. All right. It'd be over for me. Three, Ike Lucina two, on Smashville. One, Interesting go. starting stage. This is, this is a funny little matchup here. Okay, Jab 1 to 3. If I ever see Jab 1 to 3 from Ike, I am dying that day. Both, I of never these see it. both of these characters are fantastic on Smashville. No, absolutely. I think they're really good here. Um, I mean, obvious things about the matchup. Lucina's better in pretty much every way besides uh, weight and range. All right, lovely approach from Mega there, but like, oh, one hit, Mr. E. You, if you ever like try to cross him up, if you ever try to go up for his shield, he will up special right out of shield. Yeah, Every he's time. really on top of that type of thing. Great shield breaker mix up there to catch the eruption attempt, but that's the pattern in Mega Dash attack. He gets a lot of those every time you see him. Let's see, back there on shield is safe. They're jostling for position here on Smashville, and with such a small stage, every inch of positioning matters. And look at Mega, he's pulling the stage, gets caught up by the Lucina forward air. Mr. E holding center under this platform, great back air attempt, let's see if he can get a kill here. Oh my god, it's impossible with how much faster Mr. E's buttons are compared to Ike's. Ike is struggling to get anything out, I don't think I've seen Mega pull out that sword once in that whole, like, yep. excursion. Well, I mean, Ike's disadvantage is also so bad, he has some of the worst stats in the game. Oh my god. This is a rip on Ike moment. Well, I'm just, I mean, it's not a rip on Ike moment. It's no, because like he literally is just that bad. I happen to be ripping, like, ripping on Ike. You're funny. It's true. Look, even then. Oh, you're dead. Just up beat. See? Just do that. Yeah. Just up beat like six times in a row and you'll win. I promise. You want it? I told you. Yeah. That's one. I'll, I'll tell you a funny Ike story after the set. Okay. I don't want to. I'm, I'm stopping the funny. We're in, we're in top eight. I should, I should be professional. Nair, Nair. Great down tilt. Catch the air dodge. Mega got some big damage. You gotta get that big up special. <laughs> Ooh, he went high actually. Reaction to Mr. E running forward probably, but a great up end of shield for Mr. E. A great up tilt. Catching the quick draw as well. Oh my god. Okay, down air beating out with some oh! options, and then boom, Mega's just different. I thought it was as deep as that game. Like, that, was was like, that was a crazy reversal to even like think of going for. Not just the down air, but also immediately Why? taking an aggressive position. But a classic up against a shield. You were talking about it. Mr. E's got it. He's always on top of it. If you approach him, boom, up special. You are making a mistake by approaching me so aggressively and so haphazardly. And like I said, now we have an even game though. As bad as Ike is, as superior as Lucina is in like the Fire Emblem Sortie category, it's even. Yeah, I also think it is it's worth. Little even. I also Sorry. think it's worth noting that as you know, as as bad as Ike is. Um, in bracket, you, need, you still need to remember he is a heavy, strong, scary character with a long sword, and that isn't easy to play against. No matter what, you have to be on your guard. Like we saw, Miss like Mega has done like 60% strings. What a great back air from Mr. E. He doesn't mm. care about the strengths of Ike. He just wants to exploit the weaknesses. That's no way. Yeah. yeah Ike's heavy. Ike's heavy. That's not gonna take it either. No job. But you are kind of trapped here and missing the punish. That's huge. That might be good for Mega as we get Mr. E off stage once more. Are we going to go, go for the double dip? Are we going to go down? No, we're not missing the down. So that might be letting Mega lose this opportunity oh, to no kick jump. it back. Oh, no, we have a jump and we have no more jump. We are back. Yeah, go to leg. Oh, Mr. E That's on top hilarious. That's hilarious. Yeah, you're going to see that. Um, yeah. Run it back or maybe same fans. I don't know. I think so. Probably running it back. I mean, they, they both love this stage. Shout out to Mega, like right here, oh not here, it was the one on the last stock where like he did the side beat of the platform. Ike, uh, Ike quick draw for those of you who don't know, I mean, if you ever see it have less end lag than you think it should have, it's usually because what happens is Ike side B has this like weird auto cancel window thing where if you land on it at a certain timing, like you eliminate the lag. It's cool. Running it back to Smashville though. Like we guessed, yep. Yeah. Let's see, I mean, Mega played a lot of tricky cards game one, and it still felt like Mr. E just sort of had everything under control. So we'll see if Mega has any other tricks to pull out of his bag here, or if Mr. E is just going to rinse and repeat what happened in game one, pull into winner's finals. No, nope, you can't do that. No, you can't do it anymore. No, it's longer an option. Mr. E is taking it away from Mega, and honestly, a dead. lot of his game plan is he's gone. Dead, yeah. Yeah, he's dead. Zero to death. Zero to death, yep. Zero to death from Mr. E's side, and it's sh honestly... Is gonna be the like the the start of Mr. Yeah. E possibly just taking it over uh, Mega. Yeah, and I really I really like the oh that was a little crispy there for Mr. E. I like the adaptations he's making to use things like more parries, but also 
when Mega's in the offstage situation. If you go for forward smash, when Mega's at a certain height, it will cover the high the same way the up tilt does, but stronger kills earlier, and it also, like, I don't know. It's just a better punish. Air bear here from Mega, though. Yeah, Mega got. bringing it back slowly but surely, but keeping himself at the high rage level. Could go either way, gain the grab, missing the forwarder, however, or the nair, however, but... Man, really? Nice back air. Nice back air. Nice bear. My one for the block. You got it. Forward throw here from E. Let's see if Mega's got it. Yes, he does. Okay, we're back, but we can get a punish. Grab, yeah. We'll just counter anyways. And... I mean, Mega here... I, I never count him out of sets like these because I've seen him win them so many times. Mr. E just looks like he has such a dominant handle in the game right now. Great back throw, great counter. Oh, he wanted something deep there, but good high recovery from Mega. He's not screwing around with any of that stuff. No, that yeah, Mega almost never recovers low. Does not want to deal with uh, Lucina offstage. Does not want to deal with Mr. E going for that deep kill, going for that confidence of, even though Lucina does not do well on stage, he, if he's going out there to get you, he will in fact get you. So I love that Mega's try, try, trying to recover at different angles, different uh, different levels. But again, like you're kind of saying here, we don't want to count Mega out quite yet. But at this point, no, you are. Out. Oh, you're funny. I don't want to count out just yet, but it may be looking like a like wraps. Beautiful click draw on the ledge, however. He's gonna need to side beat Mr. E nine times in a row. There's a great back air. He should he should have just done up the entire time. I don't know. Really? Yeah. His armor. Good three stock there from Mr. E in game two, though. I mean, Mega kept it close. I mean, honestly, even in even in game two, like after Mr. E got like his two really quick first stocks, you know, Mega did a good job of playing it out. But I mean, as Ike, a lot of the variables of the match when you're playing against such a good character like Lucina just aren't in your control. Which yeah. is like the sad part. But Mega, you know, I wouldn't be surprised to see him back on stream, maybe in Losers Finals or something, Losers Semis or something, you know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I mean, good stuff to Mr. E. I assume he's a top seed of the tournament, besides maybe John. So. He's top seed. Probably, he's top yeah. seed? Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, I know that we're supposed to see John versus Maddie time, but I do know that we have a bit of a st uh, stream manager scramble. Yeah, we got to solve for time a little bit. 